I'm Pastor Salem, and I want to welcome you to the Christian Worship Hour. And I just want you to know how happy I am when the weekends come around, because that means all over the world we're all going to get together again. And week by week there are more joining us that is coming to know Jesus, because in order to see the, get to heaven, you have to have Jesus. And so that's our emphasis all the time. Open your heart to the Savior and find everlasting life. Well, we're reading from Philippians chapter 2 today, and this is a passage about Jesus. It starts by saying, let this mind be in you, which is in Christ Jesus. And the sermon is going to be about Jesus, all about Jesus. You just can't say too much about Jesus. He's the most wonderful person that ever walked the face of the earth. And he can live in your heart. He wants to live in your heart. He died on the cross, was raised from the grave because he wanted, he paid for our sins. But you know that pay, that doesn't mean a thing unless you accept Jesus. You have to accept that Jesus as your Savior and he washes away your sins. And I'm just praying that you'll do that. And also in our prayer today, we always pray for the persecuted church. And we're pre pre going to pray for the persecuted church in Ethiopia today. So let's look in Philippians chapter 2 and beginning with verse 5. <clears throat> Let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, took upon himself the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him, given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven, things in earth, things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So let's just pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we just love Jesus so much. He is, he is so beautiful. He is so wonderful. And we want to be like him, as the apostle tells us. Let this mind be in you. That is, here we are, a poor old sinner. We're covered with sin. We're on our way to hell. And we can't be saved by works because not by works of righteousness are we saved, but it's through faith in Jesus. And so we're destined for hell. And then you say, whosoever will call in the name of the Lord will be saved. And so we call upon you and we say, dear Jesus, please come into my heart and take away my sins. I'm sorry for my sins, and I'll turn from them. And thank you, Jesus. See, that's what it is. And so, dear Jesus, may multitudes be praying that prayer right now. And then, as we have the mind of Christ, help us to walk with you and live like you did. You are our example. No man is our model. You are our model. You are our pattern. And our goal is to be like Jesus, and so help us to do that. And someday we'll see you face to face. And we can't see each other now. We're scattered all over the world, all over this globe, Lord. But someday we're going to see everybody that's trusting in you, everybody that accepted you, we're going to see them face to face in glory. And Lord, we're praying today for the, Ethiopia, the people in Ethiopia, people that are being persecuted for you, Christian people, your people, Jesus. And I know, we know that you just, your heart aches when you see your people suffer. And as you told the children of Israel who suffered in, 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 in uh, Egypt, uh, Egypt centuries ago, and he says, I heard your cry, and he delivered them from that land of Egypt. And so now in Ethiopia, you hear their cry. You know everything about them. And just may that be a comfort to their hearts and help them to know that they are a model for us, that we are, we are praying that we will stand true to you too. And it gives our, it strengthens our faith and our commitment and dedication. So bless them. We don't pray for those who have died because they're in your presence but those left behind we think about. So now, Lord, in this service, may our eyes be on Jesus. How wonderful, wonderful you are. 
Bless this service. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.